I say welcome to another Sila moment here at Christ the Rock Community Church. So we're so glad that you're here with us and we're happy that you're joining us here as we are tuning in to this time to lift up prayers, prayer requests that have been submitted, or even the things that the Lord has placed on our hearts to pray for. So whether you're watching us via Facebook, whether you're watching us on YouTube, we ask you to join us in the chat and put any prayer requests that you have so that we may pray for you this day. And just so that you're aware, as always, whatever request that is put in the chat, not only do we pray for it at this time, but we also pray for that request throughout the week and our prayer team is involved as well heavily in praying for your request. So just know that you are being covered, you're being prayed for, and you're being cared for in this way here. Now, as we begin our time today, uh, I want to go back to scripture to set our time, to set the foundation of our time today. And we're going to go to the book of Zephaniah. We're going to read two verses. And the first verse we're going to read is from Zephaniah chapter 2, starting in verse 3. And it reads, Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who carry out what he commands. Seek righteousness, seek humility. Perhaps you will be concealed on the day of the Lord's anger. But then we see a promise at the third, chap the third and final chapter of the book of Zephaniah. And this is starting in verse 9. We see the Lord's promise to us. And it says, For I will then restore pure speech to the peoples, so that all of them may call on the name of Yahweh and serve Him with a single purpose. This is our, our scriptures for today. This is our focus for the day as we continue to seek the Lord as we continue to humble ourselves, to remember that the Lord will one day make us into, continue to make us and shape us into His image more and more as the day draws near, as we draw closer to His second coming, as He prepares us and that He prepares us to serve Him with a single purpose. So as we begin our time today, please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for this space and this time that you've allotted for us, Lord. This time, Lord, where we can set aside the things that we're doing, Lord, whether it's at work or at home, Father God, the chores that we have at hand or the duties, Lord, that we have, Father, we thank you that we can set them aside for this moment, Lord, to give praises to you, to give thanks to you. Father, to give our hearts to you, Lord, whether we are happy, Lord, and joyful this day or whether we are filled with worry and anxiety, Father, we know, Lord, that we can come to you with it all, that we can go to you freely, God, that you give us your freedom, that you give us your peace, that you give us, Father God, the cure for anxiety, my God. Help us, Lord, to place our life in your perspective, God, not in the perspective of the world, Lord, but we ask, Father, it be in your perspective, Lord. Give us eyes to see the things that are around us, Lord, how you see them. Give us ears, Father God, to hear you more intently, to hear the words of your Spirit that's spoken through your Word as a guide for us. Lord, we pray that you focus us this day, not just to lift up our own request to you, Lord, but to pray for the requests that will be uplifted this day, Father. And Lord, remind us, Father, whether spoken or unspoken, every request is known to you. Every request is heard by you, Lord. So, Father, we thank you that you hear and that you listen to our needs and our requests, Father. And we also thank you, Lord, that you do, Father, not as we ask, but you do, Father, as you will, which is the best outcome and the best result for all of us. So, Lord, we thank you this day, Father. And as we start, Father, we want to pray and lift up before you our brother Rohan, Lord. We thank you, Father, for success, Lord, in the procedure that, had, that he had done yesterday, Father. We thank you, Lord, for your healing. We thank you, Father, for guiding the doctors, Lord, for guiding the nurses and the medical professionals that were attending to Rohan. We ask you, Lord, that you continue, my God, to bring healing to his body, my God. You know, Lord, what he suffers from. You know what, he's, what he is going through. We pray, God, that you just continue, Lord, to shelter him, continue to protect him and guard him, Lord. We pray for his family, my God. Continue to keep them united and strong, Father God. Even in the midst of these circumstances, my God, we pray for your peace over them. We pray for your hope and for your rest over them, God. We pray also as well, Lord, for Kashima and her son, Christian Father. We lift up their health as well, Lord. 
you know, Father, the struggles that they each have, Lord, in their health, my God, and we just lift them up to you. We ask you, Father, that you bring Christian, Lord, the victory, my God, that he seeks in you, Father, in healing, Lord. We pray, Father, for Kashima, Lord, for a good doctor's report, my God, for the appointments that's to come. We ask you, God, that you cover them as only you can, Lord. Continue, my God, to cement and center their hope in you, Lord. That their hope is not on a doctor's report, that their hope is not on a result, but that their hope lies in you, their Savior, our Savior, our Lord Jesus. So we pray, Father, continue to strengthen their faith, Lord, in the midst of these trials and circumstances that they're in. Continue, Father, to uplift them as only you can. We pray, Father, that you continue to surround them with your peace, with your love, and with your rest in the midst of all these circumstances, God. And so we thank you and we lift these to you, my God. And we pray this in no other name, but in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. Um, I would like to open with Ephesians 4, verses 3 through 6. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and one Father of all, who is over all and in all and through all. Lord, we come before you once again on this Wednesday afternoon, O oh Father, and we thank you for what you've done for us and what you continue to do for us, Lord. We pray, dear God, for unity and one heartness within your body of Christ, O oh Father. We are called, dear God, to love you uh, and love one another, dear Lord. So we pray and we ask, dear God, that your believers um, all across this world, dear God, that they may be found um, within one spirit, dear God, and come together in oneness, dear God, to um, do your great commission and spread the gospel to all ends of this earth, O oh Father. We pray and we thank you to be in the midst of your church bodies, O oh Father, that your Holy Spirit may reside not within, not just within each church body, dear God, but within each of us ourselves, O oh Father. Um, we thank you for first loving us, O oh Father. We thank you for changing our hearts and minds, O oh Father. We pray that all of your people, dear God, may um, look to you as a prime example of how we should act um, to others, O oh Father, those that know you and don't know you, dear God. So we pray for unity and one-mindedness, dear God, amongst your people, your believers, dear God, your children that you've called, O oh Father. We pray that your people... Um, may come together, dear God, to do your great works, O oh Father, that they may set aside any selfish ambitions, their own agendas, dear God, but they may come together, dear God, in oneness, dear God, um, to uh, spread your gospel to others, O oh Father. We thank you for loving us, and we thank you for uh, the grace that you've bestowed and the mercy that you've bestowed upon us, dear God. We are not deserving, but we thank you. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, dear God. So we continue to pray for um, unity and oneness within all of your bodies um, across this great nation, dear God, and across the world, dear Father, that um, your people may set aside their own likeness and agendas dear god but to do your great work dear god to go out there for the mission to spread your good news so that others may come to know you and have uh, their name written in the great book of lamb O father so we thank you for all things and what you're continuing to do within your church um, here and um, across the world O father and we continue to praise you and love you and we thank you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Heavenly Father, as we continue to lift up requests before you, God, we lift up Patricia, God, and her two daughters to you, Lord. We lift up this family to you, Lord. We pray, Father, that you continue to unite them, Lord. Continue to strengthen them, Father. Continue, Lord, to bring them together in you, my God. Father, this family is seeking after you, Lord, for victory and for breakthrough, God. We pray, Father, for the test that Patricia has in store, Lord, a test that will determine, Lord, 
the financial future of this family, my God. We just pray, Lord, that you give Patricia wisdom as she takes this exam, Father God. I pray, Lord, that everything that she has studied for diligently, Father God, that you will bring back to remembrance as she is there taking that exam. Lord, we pray, Father, that aside from this test, Lord, may she be reminded, God, that it is you who provides, Lord. It is you who brings the financial provision and the fi financial blessings, God. We pray and we ask you, God, God, Lord Jesus, that you, my God, would just bring peace of mind to Patricia, Father God. May she know, Lord, that you are with her, my God, that you are with her, that you're with her two daughters, Lord, that you, my God, are not going to leave or forsake them, my Father, that you, Lord, are going to continue to unite them and bring them together, Lord, even in the midst of the struggle that they're in, God. We ask you, Lord, to protect this family, Lord. Protect these two daughters, my God. We ask you, Lord, as they're going to school, Lord, that you would cover them, Father God. Protect them from the influence of the enemy and the influence of the world, Lord. We ask you, my God, that you continue to keep them in the path that you set before them, Lord, the path that is to follow you and to live as you command to live, Lord, as you call us to live. We pray, Father, just to continue to lead this family, Lord, as Patricia seeking after your direction, as she's seeking you, my God, for comfort, as she's seeking you, God, for just how to move and what to do in this circumstance, Lord. And we pray, Father, that you will grant her, Lord, her needs, Father, according to your riches and glory. We pray, Lord, and we lift up Justin's recovery to you, God. We thank you, Lord, that we have seen Justin, Lord, progressing better and better in his health, my God. We just ask you, Lord, continue to keep him on that path, God. We pray, continue to give the doctors the wisdom, Lord, to measure out the right amount of medicine that Justin needs, God. We thank you, Lord, that you give them this wisdom, Lord, that you've given them that discernment, Lord, to know how to lower the dosages that he's receiving, God. We just pray, Lord, that everything continues well in this recovery, God, and we pray, Lord, that Justin continues to see your hand in his life, Lord, as he graduates, Lord, from college and goes to the next season, to the next school. Lord, we ask you, Father, continue to cover him, continue to protect him and guard him, Lord. We pray, Father, as well for the request that Justin lifts up to you, Father, for his friend who's traveling, God. We pray for safe traveling mercies for this friend, Lord. We ask you, Father, that you cover this friend, Lord, that you, come in, that you cover his coming and his going, Lord, that it will be a great trip, Lord, a great time of celebration, that it will be a great time, Lord, to spend with family and with loved ones, God. Father, we also pray and we just lift up to you, my God, our sister Tracy, who is traveling as well, Lord. We pray, Father, you cover her as well, Lord, with traveling mercies, God, but she's seeking you specifically, Lord, for your direction and your discernment, Lord, as she travels, my God. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will provide the discernment that she needs, Lord. Father, for what reason she needs you, Father God, we don't know, but we thank you, Lord, that she recognizes, Lord, that she needs you, that she needs your spirit, Father God, even as she travels, wherever she goes, Lord, she knows that she needs you, Father. So we thank you, Father, for the faith that you've given Tracy, Lord, for the strengthening, Lord, that you're going to provide, Lord, and for the rest, for the peace and the comfort that you're going to provide for our sister in this trip, Father. We pray, Lord, as well, and we lift up to you, our brother Angel, God. We just ask you, Lord, continue to cover him and his mother as they continue to mourn the loss, Lord, of, of his dad, Lord, his mom's husband, Lord. We pray, my God, continue to comfort this family as only you can. Continue, God, to be with them, Lord, and lead them, Lord, to that path of peace, Lord, as you're walking them through this valley that they're going through, God. May they see, Lord, that you are not forsaking them, Lord, that you are walking with them hand in hand and leading them, Lord, to that place of comfort and peace. And so, Father, we pray for these requests and we lift them to you. And it's in your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Day, Father, uh, we just bring before you those who are struggling with their faith, Father. May you surround them with your presence, God, and stir up their hearts for you, God. Allow them to be comforted by your presence, Father. God, I pray that although, they, that although they may be struggling, Father, that they would continue to trust you, God. I pray that they would remember that even mustard seed faith can do great things. I ask that you would continue to be with them and guide them, Father. Order their steps. Help them to trust that you are working for their good and that although they may not see it, you have not left them and never will. 
May they know they have a Father in heaven that watches over them and cares for them. May they not only go to you in times of worry or uncertainty, but also in times of joy, God. I pray that their faith would be renewed, Father, and that this would be a moment that they can share of how you moved in their life, Father. We thank you for all that you do, and it's in your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we just continue to lift up more requests before your throne, God, just to lift up, Lord, the things that have been submitted by your people, Lord. We pray, Father, and we lift up Anna's request to you, my God, for her son. Lord, we pray for Karim this day, God. We ask you, Lord, continue to shelter and protect this young man, Lord. We pray, Father, you continue, Lord, to lead him in the path that you set before him, Father. Right now, Lord, as his mother, Lord, and him are looking for him to attend Calvary Christian Academy, God, we pray, Lord, that if it's your will for him to get into the school, Father God, we pray, Lord, that you will move, my God. Not that, Lord, that we are dictating how you should move, God, but we're praying, Lord, that if it's your will, my God, we pray that you will move according to your riches and glory, Lord, and you will grant this request to this family. We ask you, Father, that you bring Karim favor with man as applications are being submitted, as their interviews are being had, Father. We ask you, Lord, that you would use even this opportunity, my God, to further draw him closer and closer to you. And we pray, Father, even in the midst of the waiting, my God, that you will continue to increase their faith and their hope in you. We ask you, Lord, continue to surround this young man with godly men and women, Lord, those brothers and sisters, Father, that will help him along in his relationship with you. We ask you, God, just to continue to shelter him and cover him, God. We pray that the influences of the enemy will not penetrate his heart or his mind, God. But we pray, Lord, that he would stand for the truth that is found in your word, the truth, Lord, that you proclaim, Father God, the truth that is spoken by your spirit into our hearts and into our minds, God. We pray, Lord, that he would obey your voice, Father God, and that he would reject the voice of the enemy, Father. And as we're praying, Lord, as well for this high school student, God, we lift up, God, this time and at this time right now, the high school students, God, who are graduating, Father. We thank you, Lord, for these students, Father, as they go into this brand new season of life, Lord. Some, Father, are joyous, Lord, and we pray, Father, for those that it may not be such a joyous time, Lord, for those seniors, Father God, for those high school students, Lord, that have lost parents, Father, we pray for them, God, as this time of graduation is not a time of celebration for them, Father, but it's a time, Lord, of sadness and mourning, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would comfort them as only you can. We ask you, Father, that you would bring them, Lord, your peace in your due time, Father. We ask you, Lord, that the enemy will not use this place of vulnerability, God, to plant seeds of deception, to plant seeds of lies into their hearts and their minds. We ask you, Father, that you would get rid or uproot of any seeds of the enemy, Lord, that may have been planted already, my God. We pray, Lord, that you will prevent any more ideations, Lord, any more plans of the enemy, Father, to triumph over these lives, Father God. We ask you, Lord, cover these students, Father God, as only you can. Bring them your peace and your comfort, God. And we pray, Lord, as well, as we pray for our students, Lord, we pray overall for our children, Lord, the children, Father, that you've given us, Lord, those children, Father, that are represented in this community, Lord, even all the children, Father God, around the world, Lord. We know, Father, in your word that you regard the children as treasures, Father God. You regard them, Lord, with such a tender love and care. Father, we pray and we lift them up to you this day, God, asking you, Lord Jesus, to just continue, my God, to shelter them, to cover them as only you can, Lord. We pray, Father God, that you would continue to keep the innocence that's within them intact, Father God, that innocence, innocence, Lord, that you've placed in them, Lord. Innocence, Father, that is yours. Father, that you've deposited in each and every child's heart. We ask you, Father, that you would cover them, Lord, with your grace. You will bless them, Father God, that you will shelter them, Lord, from all harm, Lord. Shelter them, Lord, from not just physical harm, but we pray, Lord, against any spiritual attack or spiritual harm, Lord, that may be planned or plotted against them, Lord. We ask you, Father, to remind us, Lord, as parents, my God, to pray for our children. Remind us, Lord, to go before your presence and to and to really, Lord, seek out after our own children, Lord, because ultimately, Father, these children are your children and they belong to you, God. And you've given them to us, Father God, to care for them here on this earth. 
So we pray, Father, that you equip parents, Lord, that you equip us, Lord, to be able to rear our children according to your word, according to your will, Father. We ask you, Father God, that you continue, Lord, to instill upon us, Lord, what you have, my God, for us to teach our children, Lord. Or even if we may not have children of our own, Father, we pray, Lord, for those children, Father, those children that we may have influence on, Father God, whether we're teachers, whether we're educators, or in, in churches, Lord, in schools. Father, we pray, Lord, that you lead us, Father God, to treat and to teach these children as you will want us to, Lord. And remind us, Father God, that their salvation, Father God, is not dependent on our salvation, but is dependent on how we have shared Jesus with them, Father. So we pray, Lord, even, Father, for our children, as we deposit seeds, Lord, of faith, as we deposit seeds of hope, as we deposit your word in their hearts, Father God, we pray, Lord, that you will lead for these seeds to grow and for these children, Father God, that you've given us, Lord, to eventually grow and make the decision to follow you on their own, Father. So we pray, Father, equip us, Lord, equip parents, equip teachers, equip churches and leaders, Father God, in order to instill, Lord, these seeds of hope, Father, that you provide for your children, the children that you've given us, Father. So we thank you, Lord. We lift up this request to you this day. And we praise and we honor you. And we pray this in no other name, but in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. I want to pray and continue to close us out here for Sila moment. For you, for spiritual insight. Let's pray. Father, today, as we are in these last and evil days, we pray for spiritual insight. Wherever we may go, give us perception. Give us Holy Spirit direction. Lord, help us to make decisions that would honor you with our lives. Lord, I pray today we would not yield to our own understanding, but acknowledge you in everything that you might direct our paths today. Lord, today as the Apostle Paul prayed to the church at Ephesus, Ephesians 1 and verse 18, I pray that the perception of your mind may be enlightened so you would know what is the hope of his calling what the glorious riches of his inheritance among the saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his vast strength in the Holy Ghost. Lord, today we thank you. And as we conclude this time, Lord, I thank you for this moment that we share where we pause and we see law, take a moment to think and reflect upon your goodness, Lord, with our spiritual perception, Lord, help us to make decisions with courage and strength. Lord, we pray for your church in this evil days, last and evil days, that we would be one, unified in one. We pray for all churches, Lord Jesus, as has been said, and we pray, oh God, that your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for Christ the rock. And we pray today as we gather and we celebrate a, a time of session, a time of study together that you be with us. We pray for our moments of prayer that are in front of us. Drive through prayer, Lord Jesus. We pray that you would send to this church people who need to hear the gospel, to know the love of Jesus, to be encouraged, to be strengthened by your power. Thank you, Lord, for what you will do. We pray this in the name of Jesus and for the coming of our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and Selah.